Hey guys, you reached Nicole's blog. Um, go ahead and what? obviously you can watch any videos you want. Subscribe. Thank you. Love you guys. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Mwah. Hi, it's me again. Um, you know, I know. I promised one video a week and I started my online class. Found it posted um, last night. Well, yeah, I think it was last night. I noticed it at about 10 o'clock at night. And I was reading up on what all I had to do. Printed out my syllabus and this little packet. Um, ideology is a representation of the imaginary relationship of individuals to their real conditions of existence. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I have to read that and write a paper on it. It's 12 pages. Yeah, I was not too thrilled. Um, in my Common Culture book, I actually have to read pages 1 through 46. And that's that book that I was ranting and raving about. And I got to page, like, I don't know, I think I got to page 16. Like, I was reading a little bit of it last night, and I read pages 1 through 7, and it took me, like, 45 minutes. Because, I don't know, I, I'm a slow learner, and it's like, um, I have to read things a few times in order to grasp it. So, I read slow, and then I would go back and reread it again, and I'm just like, God, I don't know if I could do this. So I thought about, you know, just putting it on my little tape recorder type deal, and just listening to it a few times, see if I can grasp it. At the same time, I'm not a very fast reader, so I would get bored with it and shut it off, and the batteries only last, so I don't know, an hour. So, three out of five assignments. Um, two of them I had to talk about me, you know, give like a little, a little introduction, and I basically say, you know, my name is Nicole, I'm working one job and going to school online for the summer, whereas during school I'll be working two jobs and going to school over full time. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, the other one was, what What was your favorite author, and tell us a little bit more about yourself. And I said my favorite authors were Dave Pelzer, the um, author of A Child Called It, yeah, and um, a man named Dave, and something about a teenager. Oh, anyway. Um, and Danielle Steele. I said, you know, Dave Pelzer and Danielle Steele both have, both are amazing writers and they're just like page turners. So I read about that and I said I'm a hopeless romantic because any of my boyfriends will tell you the exact same thing. Um, oh, like my shirt. <laughs> so, and then I have to have, write an essay about the ideology I don't know how I'm going to go about that. And I have a reading quiz. I have to read pages 1 through 46 in my Common Culture book. And I don't even know what I have to read in my writer's reference book. But so far, so good. I got those first three assignments done. Oh, here's what I wanted to talk about. Okay, we had to write what we thought about Barbie. As you all know, Barbie has been around for 50 years now, 50 plus years, I think it was like 57 or something, a sudden book, but um, we had to write, do you think Barbie is an influence, negative or positive? Well, <clears throat> I said she was both negative and positive. Positive because, you know, she's, <sighs> she's a hardworking girl. Barbie was, oh gosh, I think a candy stripper, not stripper stripper, you know what I mean, I hope, because I'm not sure how to explain it, and she was a doctor, she was, she had an astronaut, ballerina, 
Oh, I'll probably think of it later. You know, I thought, I think she can be a positive influence because, you know, she strives hard for her goals and whatnot, and she's accomplished so much. But at the same time, she's also a negative influence. Barbies, I have seen a few, you know, and I am very happy that, you know, they have made different races of Barbies. Um, but, at the same time, Barbies also give off the perfect image. What really is a perfect image? No girl is the perfect girl. And what I wrote was, you know, 99.99999, however many percent, are going to say she's perfect, where there's that point oh 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 one percent that think that she's not point out her flaws. She's too perfect. Um, her hair is always too perfect. You know, she has that perfect little body image. And the thing with Barbies is that there's just thin Barbies. There's not the bigger Barbies, and that could be a negative influence. Along with her having the perfect body, you know, a lot of people are going to try to get that body in plans. Um, starving themselves or throwing up their food. You know, um, <clears throat> also, Ken, I don't know what careers Ken has had, but I also, <laughs> I know, I'm so stupid. I don't know if Barbie and Ken are married, so I guess it's not really a bad thing. But Ken also puts up a perfect image, you know, what a man should look like, what a man should do. Um, people try and be like Ken, you know, that handsome six-pack type deal where a lot of guys don't like that. You know, Ken is sweet, and that's all we really know, right? So, Barbie's sweet, and that's all we really know. What are... I'm trying to find my words. Damn it, I hate it when that happens. Don't okay, take that. Um, you never see the argumentative side of Barbie and Ken. Never. And real people cry, they have breakdowns, they say stuff they don't mean. Some people are too tiny, some are just like, oh, <laughs> you know, trying to live the Barbie life, but what's behind closed doors? That's another thing about Barbie and Ken is, you know, how are they behind closed doors? We only see them how we want to see them. But yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. I guess. That's about it. So hi, bye, Mwah. love you. Oh, and I'm also working on a new intro. Any ideas? Because I really didn't like my last one that much. Um.